hello hello i'm ariana if you're new here if you're not welcome back to my channel today's video we are getting into the go-to eyeshadow look if you want to look like that girl if you want to look put together this is an eyeshadow look i highly recommend if you don't want to think about it that will go with everything and also will just make you look very uh sophisticated elegant like you know what you're doing and that's the goal for this whole entire channel so the eyeshadow palette that i'm going in with is the tarte sunrise palette which is a just a bunch of nice nudes they're warm some of them are cool but they're mostly browns and nudes so i'm going in with this warm orange shade and this is going to be the transition shade so i'm placing this in my crease this is going to kind of be the shade that is complementing or gradient wise buffing out the crease i put this on before the darker crease shade just to make it easier to blend out i usually put on the darker shade before this transition shade but i guess i just like i went right into it so we're using a blending brush and just placing that all into the crease and then just kind of making it blend up into the brow bone um, and just creating that nice crease shape with the shading okay we're going into the darker crease shade which is this shade right here and i'm gonna place that and concentrate it more onto the crease so i am using the same brush but i'm using like the tip the tippity tip of this brush just to make sure that this darker shade goes exactly where i want it to go so this is going to kind of define the crease line a little bit more and this is just going to make it easier to kind of look like it's blended into that first transition shade that we put in so it's literally just deepening up the crease here's the difference and we are basically just kind of shading this area and just making it look a little bit more prominent but also still pretty natural because of the shades that we're using so you can definitely do this either darker shade First and then the transition shade but i guess i just decided to do that so this is one of my holy grail eyeshadow products i freaking love this thing got it from amazon will be linked below but it's basically an eyeshadow brush eraser um it takes off all of the pigment on the brush so that you can use the same brush um through with different shades and it won't get muddy looking so i literally just took off all of the pigment from the brush and i'm just using a clean brush to go ahead and buff out the edges here's the difference between what the eyeshadow looks like when it's blended out and when it's just like that harsh shape so i'm just kind of diffusing the edges so it looks nice and blended and then i'm going in with a bone shade to go ahead and highlight my brow bone so the whole entire theme of this look is very natural but also very just like a leveled up eyeshadow or eye situation so i am highlighting my brow bone i usually don't really do this but this is going to kind of give the illusion that your eyes have more structure more bone structure you're just kind of like highlighting the features that you already have going on and this also just kind of marries the shim the shimmer shade sorry it also just kind of marries the eyeshadow together so that you don't have like skin peeking through and then like a couple inches is lower there's just like eyeshadow powder on your eye so it just completes the look and the last thing that i'm doing is i'm going ahead and adding that same bone shade onto the lid so i'm using the same exact brush for all of this and what i like to do when i'm not kind of cutting my crease and carving it out with concealer but i am going in for kind of like a cut crease situation is i like to pack on most of this light shade on the center as much as i can to make that as bright as possible then i'll go in on the each each side of it and then kind of just make it look as even as possible and this is me kind of trying to carve out the crease area toward the outer corner with the eyeshadow so if you kind of want to create a contour or like a cut crease situation you literally just have to use a shade that's a little bit lighter than whatever is going on in your crease and then it'll just create the illusion that like you have a bigger lid space than you actually do and then it'll also create the flow and the shape of the eye that you're going for so I'm doing the same exact thing on the other side and just making sure that the whole entire lid looks nice and even. It's totally fine if it doesn't, but we're just kind of going for that natural illusion of an open lid with a defined crease. And then I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Coal Eyeliner. This is a brown pencil liner. I like to use pencil liners for this type of look of like a smudgy eyeliner moment because it's easier to smudge out than a liquid liner. And I also love to use brown eyeliner when I'm kind of going for something natural and like 
like oh is it there or is it not like I mean obviously it's there but it's it's a lot more natural than like a black wing it's a different statement that you're making so I've been gravitating towards this um lately because I've just been kind of trying but not trying with my eyeshadow looks lately and I'm I'm loving it so I'm basically just lining my whole entire eye with the brown coal liner and I'm creating like a baby wing we are going to go over it with a eyeshadow to make it look like a smoky wing so you don't need to go too far if you do want a bigger wing like I suggest doing a baby wing with the eyeliner first and then creating a larger wing with the eyeshadow because I'm going to show you what it looks like so the brush that I'm using is this dense packer brush it is pretty flat so it's going to make it easier for us to pack on the eyeshadow and get it a nice consistency as well as a lot of pigment onto the eyeshadow and the pencil liner that we laid down and it's also going to help us kind of buff out the edges as well so i'm literally just packing on the brown eyeshadow on top of the liner i also didn't kind of like buff out the eyeliner or smudge it out either because you don't really need to if you are packing on a brown eyeshadow on top because it's already going to look like it's smudged out because it's it's eyeshadow so for the outer wing part i am like i said going over the eyeliner with the eyeshadow so with this type of brush as well as like kind of creating that smudgy look your wing is going to get thicker and it is going to get a little bit longer so that's why i said you should create a baby wing before you go in with the eyeshadow because it is going to get a little bit bigger so i'm doing the same exact thing on the other side and i did create a little bump there that i did not want but i'm going to show you how i kind of got rid of it and i am just kind of making the wing a little bit longer and then i'm just making sure that the top of the liner looks a little fuzzy because we are going for a smoky liner so i took the bone shade which is the same shade as whatever's going on on the lid and i just kind of went over that bump and it literally just erased it so you don't need concealer don't need makeup wipes don't need q-tips like just if you know the medium that you're working with it's easy to kind of erase your mistakes so that is it for the eyeshadow moving on to the finishing touches this is the part of my eyeshadow look that i always always do i'm just carving out the wing and this is what's going to make your eyeshadow wing look nice and clean nice and sharp and it's also going to make sure that your both of your eyes look symmetrical so do not worry about making sure that your wings are nice and pointy with eyeshadow because it's literally impossible so you can go ahead and do this or you can use tape but i like to use the concealer because i feel like i have more control I, I can't do the tape thing i'm sorry but this is my my favorite part so after i blend out the concealer from under the wing i'm going in with mascara so i'm gonna show you guys what this look looks like with mascara mascara only and of course i'm using the l'oreal telescopic mascara so i sped this part up so you can see like this is literally one dip this mascara is pretty good i like the the wand the, like the way that the the wand is it's just easier to get into your eyelashes and get every single like eyelash and comb through i like a sturdy wand because that just gives me more volume and makes my my lashes look really long so this is what it looks like with mascara only so you can definitely go this route because this is more of a natural look but for lashes i did not want to use a strip lash i'm going with the kiss um falsies these are like the individual lashes with the glue already on them they will also be linked below these are very interesting and i like them a lot um, and I just put two clusters on the outer corners. So if you are going in with clusters of lashes underneath your lash line, then you are going to want to go in with a really good mascara that's going to kind of match up the same look that the clusters are giving you. So like if I had like a, a little bit of a worse mascara, then my eyelashes would not match up but like with the same volume and it wouldn't look as natural. But let me know what you guys think. I really like this look. If you have any other video suggestions you'd like to see from me, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and like this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!